So once again, a very warm welcome to one and all on today's training session on designing engaging physics courses using videos. My name is Abigail D'Souza and I'm a curriculum specialist here at CHOF. And currently, and I really appreciate the time taken by each one of you for joining this training session. So what is JOV? JOV is basically stands for, the acronym stands for the Journal of Visualized Experiments. What we do is we provide video resources for education and research purposes. Our videos, our scientific videos, are here that make teaching learning as well as practicing science more efficient, effective, as well as engaging. And Joe is in fact the world's leading producer and provider of STEM videos. It's in fact the world's first peer reviewed video scientific journal. So it's indexed in PubMed, Web of Science, SciFinder, Scopus, as well as SciExpanded. So that's a bit on Joe. So where are we today? We, are, uh, we have around 18,000 videos in our library with around 1,200 videos that are published every year, 1,000 plus subscribers across the globe. Our videos are accessible worldwide 24 by 7, and they are available in 14 different languages in translations and voiceovers. So that's how the Jove library is growing, and I like to say it's a growing library. Let's take a look at this particular slide. You see a text article and you see a video. <clears throat> they say that visual, uh, visual videos or visual aspects of just videos alone help enhance or a student retention is much more as compared to just reading a text alone. So if you have a video at hand, the retention power for a student is much more as, compa as, compo as compared to just reading this text alone. For example, even as we are looking at this particular slide on right-hand thumb rule, the first instances will go to the video, will watch the video, as opposed to just reading the text. So that's where Job comes in. <clears throat> and today, we'll delve into the entire physics world, physics and engineering resources within Job. And we have with us uh, Dr. Stephen John, a subject matter expert, who will share his insights into the world of physics and engineering. Um, yes, over to you, Stephen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Abigail, for that uh, introduction. So let me quickly share my screen. Oh, everybody can see my screen. Yes. Great. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I am Dr. Stephen John, subject matter expert. I'm excited to guide you as we explore our fascinating world of physics collections. So before we uh, go into our physics collections in detail, I'd like to quickly uh, introduce our website. So as Abigail mentioned, our Joe website is focused on teaching and also helps stu uh, students and researchers to conduct experiment in an easier and better way. So uh, Joe website is divided into two main collections, so research and education. So under research, we have uh, video journals of various subjects, and these are, of course, the methods are peer-reviewed and are indexed in Scopus and other databases and our encyclopedia of experiments are experimental procedures aiming at explaining the concepts in the research setup. So it's very helpful for researchers conducting experiments to know a particular method, how to be used. Uh, this is where they have to go. On the other hand, we have our education collection. Under education, we have three subsections, core, science education, and lab management. So this focuses on students to understand the key concepts. So the core videos are short film duration and are animated video lessons. So that means the students can, uh, it helps students to understand the concept uh, using all the animations. So it's it is useful for them to uh, learn and uh, reproduce some experiments 
again and again without any difficulties. And our science education collection is a blend of theory of the concepts and uh, as an animation and practical applications of the in the research setup. And the third part is the lab manual section where we have three subsections. So it's very much helpful for students and instructors when they want to conduct experiments. So we have three subsections. The first is concepts where a student can understand the concept before they go into their labs and be well versed of what they're gonna perform. And the second subsection is the protocol section which they can use to perform their experiments. So it will have a detailed procedure step by step. And in the last subsection, we have is the instructor prep material, which helps the uh, faculty or the instructor to prepare the materials needed to perform the lab. So on the whole, the education collection helps students, undergraduates and graduates to know the key concepts and also to conduct experiments. So let me give you some of the key features of our core collections. Uh, so our core collection has about 33 chapters, has 498 videos, and uh, has subtitles in 14 languages. So it helps uh, international students and uh, to also other uh, students to learn the concepts in their own native languages. And these videos are animated lessons and are shorter in duration. And our core collection is framed with one concept, one video idea. So uh, while learning, uh, when they click on one video, they can learn a concept with animations and are clearly explained. And on top of that, we have 99 scientists in action videos. So these are advanced uh, real-time application-based videos of some of the key concepts which are discussed. So as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, videos with animation. So that helps students to understand the abstract physics concept in an easier way. And also it enhances the student's comprehension and retention. And uh, not to forget, all of these contents are picked uh, from the widely referenced textbooks. So our sources, uh, what we refer to are books which are widely used. And our videos are engaging and helps to meet all the global curriculum requirements. So, it's appropriate uh, for students who are learning undergraduate physics courses and engineering courses. So let me quickly share about the uniqueness of this collection. So as the students, they learn the concepts. Uh, after learning a concept, they have, uh, say, problems which they have to solve. So we deal with all those. So problem solving and also real world application. As you can see here, uh, the in this uh, example, uh, this video explores the uh, uh, physics of tuning a guitar and solve, solves problems on accurate uh, accuracy and uh, accuracy of the pitch and the harmony. So in this one, uh, which is the real world applications, uh, you can see uh, how the centripetal force causes the car to turn in a circular path. So we deal with uh, how the problem can be solved and also real world applications. So our core videos are so engaging and help students to apply these concepts and solve problems in their, uh, and apply physics in everyday life. So now let me quickly uh, show you about what we have in our physics core collections. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, our, our core physics are animated video lessons, which has about 33 chapters and are placed under five sections. So foundation of physics, mechanics, oscillations and waves, thermodynamics, electricity, and magnetism. So under foundation of physics, we start with uh, chapters one and two, which focuses on the fundamental foundational concepts, say measurements, vectors, and scalars. So when a student want to learn for physics, uh, they have to start with the foundational concepts. So we focus on keeping it in the right order. So they learn the foundational concepts and then they move on to all the complicated concepts which they'll be learning in further chapters. So uh, under mechanics, we have chapters three to 13, which focuses on classical mechanics, kinematics, energy equations, momentum, and also fluid mechanics. Under the oscillations and waves, we have chapters 15 to 17, which deals with oscillations, 
simple harmonic motion and the wave equations and also sound and how to apply the equations and solve problems. Uh, under thermodynamics, we have chapters 18 to 21, which deals with temperature, heat, uh, the kinetic theory, especially the behavior of gases and laws, uh, all the laws of thermodynamics. And in the last section, uh, under electricity and magnetism, we have chapters 22 to 33, uh, which deals into the electricity, especially the electric charges, the field, and also the difference between the direct current, alternating current, and how it can be used to, uh, say, apply and solve problems and uh, finding the circuit differences. Next, I'd like to, on the core, we also have our mechanical engineering function. So our core mechanical engineering is specifically designed to uh, apply the physics concepts with an engineering perspective. So we have about 149 videos, uh, which deals with all the fundamental physics principles, statics, vectors, equilibrium friction, center of gravity, etc. So these are apt for undergraduate physics and engineering students, and also for students who want to prepare for competitive engineering exams. So this would be ideal for undergraduate students. So the next, uh, under the education collection we have is our science education physics collection. So we have 30 dedicated videos on classical mechanics, thermodynamics, electrostatics, magnetism, optics, and electrical circuits. So these focuses not just on the theory part, but also the practical applications uh, in the research setup. On the other hand, we have the science education engineering collection. So apart from the core en uh, engineering collection, we have the science education engineering collection, which deals with all the branches of engineering, which are electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, et cetera. So we also have 30 videos on our science education engineering collection. So how to use these resources? We have ready to use resources specifically designed uh, on the key concepts of physics. So we have ready to use playlist on mechanics, electromagnetism, waves, and optics. So these are comprehensive video playlists. When you click on one playlist, you can see the topics uh, on uh, specifically on mechanics. And we also have videos, animated videos, which explains the concepts in a clearer way so that the students can understand. Not just that, we also have uh, video textbooks uh, where we have mapped about uh, around 11 textbooks which are widely referenced. And this can act as an excellent supplementary material for students to refer to. So all these resources are under Faculty Resource Center, which my colleague Abhikya will be showing you in some time. I think we have pretty much covered with our core uh, and also the research section. So I think I'll hand over the session to Abhikya now so she can take you through our website and also how to integrate uh, these resources what we have. Thank you. Thanks for your time and attention. Over to Abigail. Thank you so much, Stephen, for sharing all your valuable insights. And I'm sure after walking through all these physics resources, we know where we can utilize them and for what levels as well. Thank you so much. And yes. So sure. basically what I'll be covering up now is how does one access these Jove content. So, of course, if you are a current subscriber, you definitely have access to this con all our Jove resources, whether you're an unlimited subscriber, you have access to the entire Jove platform, if it's a partial subscriber, certain collections. But how do you access this? To do that, you simply have to log on to jove.com and it will redirect you to app.jove.com. And this is what you will see. On this page, at the top right-hand corner, you will see sign in. So you click on sign in, and the next step is if you have an account already created, simply enter your institution email and password, and click on create and uh, and click on sign in. If you do not have an institution email address, uh, if you do not have an account already created, you will simply click on create an account. 
enter your institutional email address. Kindly note, only institutional wide email addresses are accepted. Uh, if you do it with a, using a personal email address, you will not be able to access the resources. Enter your institution email address, click on create account, and you'll receive a verification email, following which you'll simply verify the email address and fill in a quick form. First name, last name, password, institution. If you are a professor or instructor, most importantly is select a role as a professor or instructor and click on create an account. So yes, how do you know your account has been created? Your name will feature at the top right hand corner. Now, how do, once you have created a job account, how does one share these resources with your students? There are two ways to do that. One is a single video embed, which is means uh, just one video at a time, either in an existing course page or in a new course page. You can create a new page, in fact. Second is a common cartridge. It's a combination or a collection of several videos where you can insert this entire playlist in one go into your learning management systems. I will showcase two particular videos, uh, two particular learning management systems. One is how to insert this into Moodle and second, how to insert this into Blackboard. But before going to that, I'll give you a brief uh, run through the Jove platform as Stephen mentioned. This is the Jove platform. Once you are signed in, you'll have your name here. One way to browse through it is using the search key, the search toolbar. You can simply enter a keyword and it will give you a list of all research related videos as well as education. So this is one way to browse through it. The other way is you have several tabs on top here. You have the research collection, you have education. And also, as Stephen mentioned, you have something known as a faculty resource center. If you would like to browse through research videos within Jove Research, you have the Jove Journal and the Jove Encyclopedia of Experiments. Jove Journal basically houses the 13 different subject areas here, with engineering being one of them. So you can simply delve into the engineering collection if you'd like. It's basically a research journal, uh, like any other journal article, but accompanying each of our journal article is a video at hand. So that's how Jove is different as compared to uh, the other research journals. Uh, the Jove Encyclopedia of, Encyclopedia of Experiments currently houses just the biology collection. But coming to the most important thing of today's session, that's our Job Education, Physics, and Engineering collections. Within Job Education dropdown, you have Physics and Engineering. And within each of, within the Physics collection, you have videos from Job Core and Job Science Education. Now let's see how these two collections are different. Jove core videos are typically, like Stephen mentioned, very basic introductory videos, short videos ranging from one minute to three minute long. These is what we call as a video textbook, chapter one to around chapter 33. So if you're looking for videos, related videos, you can simply come to the, in physics, you can simply come to this particular Jove core collection. If you're looking at say electrical potential, you'll simply click on electric potential. So you don't have to search elsewhere uh, also for videos. You can simply come here. This basically caters to the needs of undergraduate level students or uh, upper level graduates, more like a refresher, covering up basic concepts. So you have a video, you have a little bit of text reading. Electric potential energy is the energy required to assemble. A the features remain standard throughout our education videos. You have the speed regulation feature. You also have closed captions in 14 different languages, making it easier for our global audience. So that's how, uh, that, so you one can also change the languages based on the highlights over here. You can change the language of the page as well as the transcript. So this is a bit on the Job Core. In addition to our key terms and conceptual based videos, we also have the Scientists in Action tab. These basically, are application-based videos that are covered up in the key terms and concepts. So you have the key terms and concepts, but you have a scientist in action tab wherein there are actual demonstration or real-time lab experiments performed. So if you'd like to look at some application base, you can simply come to the scientist in action tab. So this is a bit on the Jove core physics. 
with several chapters coming to Jove science education within physics. This houses two collections. Physics 1 covering our classical mechanics, thermodynamics related topics. Physics 2 covering up electrostatics, electromagnetism, etc. How is this different from that of Jove core? These comprise of animations as well as real time lab experiments. So you have a video at hand within the starting is an overview given in the form of an animation followed by the actual demonstration. One can also navigate within the chapter here. Now, in addition to the speed regulation feature and the closed captions, you also have the option of adding to playlists. You have the option of adding to favorites. So you don't have to go back and search for the videos, sharing on various social media platforms, as well as embedding this video into your course management systems, which means inserting these videos into Blackboard and Moodle. Uh, before I go to the embedding section, let me just showcase a bit on the engineering collection. Again, within engineering, we have Jove Core Mechanical Engineering and a new upcoming collection that will be within that will be in electrical engineering as well. So Core Mechanical Engineering again uh, covers up more like a video textbook covering up key terms and concepts related to mechanical engineering. Again, within each chapter, several videos covering up key terms and concepts. Science Education Engineering, on the other hand, has various subject areas within engineering, more like a subset, bioengineering, chemical engineering, um, aeronautical materials, biomedical, structural, all covered up here. This again uh, comprises of animations and real-time lab experiments. So the science education videos are fairly longer videos, ranging from roughly seven minutes to uh, 12 minutes and catering to the needs of upper level students. Now, how does one insert these videos within your course page? First, make sure you're logged in. Second step, you go to a video of your choice. It doesn't matter which video it may be within research engineering, within the physics, uh, core, science, ed, as well as engineering. Any video, the, the steps to embed them within the course management systems is the same. Simply go to a particular video of your choice. and click on embed. That's the first step. You can adjust the width and height as per requirement. And the next step is click on copy embed code. Now, the first thing, let's look at Blackboard. How do you insert this code in Blackboard? Once you're on your course page, you will have build content. Within build content, you will have item. And within item, first thing you would have to do is give the name of the video or the name of the course. And here within this box that you see here, you will see source code or this particular symbol, these two kind of arrows. Click on that and simply do control V or right click and paste. You can always add your own text material here or copy paste it from the video itself. And that's how seamlessly a video is embedded into Blackboard. It will feature at the extreme end for the first time and here. This ensures, so embedding a, a video into your course management system ensures that students are not prompted to create a Jove account. So if your library subscribes to and if you insert this video within your course management system, students, even while they are off campus, will be able to watch these videos. So of course, while on campus, they're able to, but even while off campus, while they're traveling, they'll be able to watch it within Black. Similarly, in the case of Moodle, while once you're on your course page, all you have to do is click on add an activity or resource, click on page, add a new page, again, give it a name or the title, you can add a description, but where does the video code fit in is here within content. There is page content, show or hide advanced buttons, and simply click on this particular symbol, HTML. Select the text and control V. Simply save and display. So this is how you insert one video at a time. Now let's, so this will play for the students. They can also open up, open it up in full screen. 
closed captions so similar in the case of uh, blackboard closed caption the speed regulation feature everything features and works within your learning management system similarly in the case of black in the case of playlist how can you insert an entire playlist in one go if you noticed uh, these videos have the option of uh, adding to playlist wherein you can create your own playlist or add it to an existing playlist but where does your playlist feature it's here within your name under my playlist but now we have ready to use playlist which makes your work a lot more easier wherein we have faculty resource center wherein there are already videos aligned to various courses and teaching labs you can simply delve into any of this. If you're looking at lab courses, you can simply go to lab courses and there are already playlists created. So if I just want to look at introduction to lab safety and simply click on this and I have a playlist ready to use playlist created here. Similarly, our textbooks. We have videos mapped to your textbooks. So let's look at all textbooks. Offer, sorry, not all textbooks. Maybe we'll look at in particular the physics textbooks within the textbooks area. So basically what are these? These are not the textbooks, but Job videos aligned to the chapters within the textbooks. So you have a textbook, for example, say holiday. You have various chapters, names that you will see in the index. We have what the our team has put together is um, Various videos from the Job repository are aligned to the various topics. So if I'm just looking at kinetic energy and work, I can simply come here. If I'm referring to this book, I know what chapter seven is. I can simply come here and I have all related videos listed here. Now, how do I insert this into Blackboard and Moodle? All I have to do is again, ensure I'm logged in. Second, simply click on download CC. CC stands for common cartridge. It's a type of package which can be uh, inserted into Blackboard in one go. It contains all these videos. So if I just go into Blackboard, close this. Go to my course page. On the left navigation bar, you will see something known as packages and utilities. So within course management, you will see packages and utilities. Under packages and utilities, you will see import package or view logs. Click on this. Next step, we click on import package. Browse to local files from your downloads. Under select course material, select all and submit. While we wait for this to be uploaded, uh, let's go to Moodle. You insert the same package within Moodle. Let's go to, to a topic. So you can go to a topic of your choice. Again, look for add an activity or resource. And here, what you do is instead of page, so you don't select page, but you will select IMS content package. Give it the name of the package. I'm just going to give it motion or kinetic energy. Yes, and choose a file. Upload the file. Upload this file. Save and display. So what has what what has happened here is all the videos that were there in that playlist all have got uploaded in one go. So you don't have to manually insert each video at a time. You don't have to manually insert the text associated with it as well. So students can simply come in without having to create a Jove account if your library subscribes to it and uh, they'll simply be able to watch the videos from anywhere. Similarly, if you look at Blackboard, if I just refresh this page, on the left navigation bar, you'll be able to see the entire uh, package being uploaded on kinetic energy. Here, kinetic energy and work. If I simply click on this, basically what has happened in Blackboard is each video has got incorporated as a page, which can be edited. You can also uh, 
move the page up and down as and where you would like it. And yes. So that's how seamlessly uh, videos can be inserted into Blackboard and Moodle. Uh, similarly, we have our, all our education videos come with quizzes, which feature under the education and the Jove quiz. Uh, I will, in the interest of time, I'll not showcase how to insert these quiz banks right now. But if you'd like to understand more on how to insert quizzes into your course page, I'll be dropping in my email address. Please feel free to get back to me. So thank you so much. And I'm open to taking any questions that you might have. Thank you for your patient hearing as well. Of course, it's probably a lot of information to take in at once. Uh, a recording of this will be shared with all registered participants. So even the embedding process and the various collections, everything will be within your inbox. Thank you. Any questions? Can let me, okay, sorry, let me just unmute. Yes, you can either unmute yourselves or you can just put in your questions within the chat or Q&A. So yeah, if there are no questions, uh, I'd like to end the session with uh, thanking all the audience for being so attentive and making the time to attend this session, this webinar. Um, I would also like to thank Stephen and Lakshmi who joined this session, our subject matter experts here at Jove, uh, for sharing your valuable insights and Lakshmi for helping it. Thank you so much, one and all, and have a great day ahead.